Information provided by Wall Street Penning Zoo is for educational purposes only and not intended to be financial advice. Please consult with a licensed financial advisor before making any financial decisions. The S&P recovers quickly from its previous week and the Nasdaq also ended the week higher due to positive news on both the stimulus and vaccinations despite the poor jobless growth reported by the Department of Labor. Hello and welcome back to the Wall Street Petting Zoo. This is our This Week at the Zoo segment in which we review this the week's market news and look ahead to the coming week. Chris is out today, so I'm your flying solo today host, Robert Coburn. It was a great week for Wall Street as S&P and NASDAQ ended at record closing highs. Financial sector got a boost from higher treasury bond yields. The energy sector, including the oil industry, is doing very well despite Biden's plan for ending fossil fuels. Many analysts are coming to the same conclusion as Chris did a few weeks ago in that we we will start seeing a shift from growth stocks to value stocks. Last week, we went over the GameStop short squeeze, and to give you a quick update this week, the stock plummeted, breaking slightly below $50 before ending the week around 66 in after hours trading on Friday. Robinhood and other trading platforms eased or lifted restrictions on purchasing Wall Street bet stocks throughout the week. Is this the end of the GameStop short squeeze, or will we see a resurgence? My guess is this is probably the end at least for GameStop, but who knows? This event has put a lot of eyes on the stock market and with the market being so readily available, I believe it is only a matter of time before the collective hive mind that is the internet will take another stab at sticking it to Wall Street. Speaking of GameStop, there there has been another big story floating around social media and that is Dogecoin. For those that are unaware, Dogecoin is a cryptocurrency. However, Dogecoin was originally created as a joke. However, despite this, it has been climbing higher than anyone has ever expected. It has been less than two weeks since the cryptocurrency has gone from less than one cent a coin to to as high as 10 cents at a small point in time. While there have been a few unsuccessful attempts by millennials using TikTok to cause Dogecoin to rise to a dollar, a combination of Redditors and a tweet by Elon Musk showing his support for the coin has put more eyes and wallets on Dogecoin. Current market cap is about $1 billion short of $10 billion, and in December it was as low as $400 $400 million. Well, folks, that's our episode for the week. You can find the Wall Street Petting Zoo podcast on Podbean, iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, and YouTube. Please give us a like, share, or comment on social media and a thumbs up or five star review on your favorite podcasting platform. We don't do any advertising for the show, so word of mouth is the only way we get the word out, and we really appreciate your support. If you'd like to support the podcast financially, you can click on our referral link to Weeble underneath our YouTube video. If you open a brokerage account with Weeble and deposit $100, you will get a couple free stocks, and we also get a couple free stocks, and that helps support the podcast. Thanks so much for listening, and we'll see you back at the zoo next week. <laughs>